Okay, for session C, this one we are going to discuss both of the question because session C you going to answer only one question out of two questions over here. Okay, so we are going to look at questions number sixteen. The diagram sixteen below shows a screenshot of a house for sale advertisement placed on a home sales company website in the year two thousand. Okay, this is the situation. Nadira is interested in buying the house through a full bank loan for a loan period of 30 years. Okay, we are going to look over here. First thing first, it's going to be 30 years for the loan period. Given that the price of the house is set at 350000 and the bank offers a simple interest rate, 3.2%. Calculate the monthly payment that Nadira will have to pay if she agrees to the bank offer. The question is asking for monthly payment. This is our form. Form 3. Okay. This is form 3 uh, questions, I thought. Okay. So, First thing first, we are going to find the sum of the money that Nadira have to pay. Isn't it? So, it's going to be by using our formula A equals to P plus with... Uh, this is going to be the interest. PRT here is going to be from the formula of interest. I equals to PRT. Remember? Yes, A equals to the amount that uh, she has to pay. Okay, we are going to find the amount. Okay, so first thing first, we are going to find from our question, which is going to be our principal. 350,000. Which one is going to be our R? R is what? Yes, interest rate. This is our R. 3.2%. Where is going to be our T? T is what? Time taken over here must be in? Yes. It's 30 here. So, substitute. Okay. We're using the formula here. P is... Apa tadi? 35 at 350,000 plus again 350,000 here okay times with rate just now 3.2% times with time here is going to be 30 30 years so we are going to find the whole thing here first and then we are going to uh, sum together Okay, so by using your calculator, 350,000 times 3.2% times with 30 years. I'm going to get 336,000. Did you get? Yes. Okay, then we are going to plus with 350,000. We are going to get 600. Yes, six eight six zero zero zero. The total amount that Nadira have to pay. Okay, the question. Look back at the question. The question is asking for what? Monthly payment, isn't it? <laughs> monthly payment. So how did we want to know the monthly payment? Yeah. Divide by? 12 months. 12 months equals to? 1 year. Ah, the time period that uh, she going to pay is going to be 30 years. So, means that 1 year is 12 months. So, 30 years equals to 30 times with? 12. 360, isn't it? So, we are going to find month. To find monthly payment, okay, 
We are going to have over here the total amount that she has to pay is 686,000 divided by 30 times 12. Uh, this is going to be one month. We are going to find for one, for one month. So, how much did she has to pay? Uh, 1905.555. So, 5, 5, 6. Thank you. 1905 ringgit 56. Since this is a monthly payment. Okay, this is going to be three months given. Okay. The first mark is going to be the total amount here. Second mark is divided by uh, the, the period of time there. The final mark is going to be the monthly payment here can can okay so <laughs> proceed to the next one over here number two still nadira situation here okay in the end nadira bought the house for three hundred fifty thousand, and she also paid a down payment of 10% 10% out of 350, isn't it? Okay. Since then, the house has been rented for 600 a month. Now, after 20 years, just now, uh, she uh, the loan period is going to be 30 years. Okay. So, after 20 years, okay. Nadira want to sell the house for 700,000 Okay, to a buyer Currently, the outstanding loan balance with the bank is 144,000 after 20 years huh? Okay, still got 144,000 And the total monthly installment that has been paid to the bank is 456,000 Okay so, table 16 below shows the list of costs involved in the sale and purchase of the house. Okay, we have legal costs, we have stamp duty, we have agent commission. The question. Calculate the return on investment. ROI obtained by Nadira in this transaction. This is going to be 5 marks. Not 8 marks. 8 marks is going to be both of the questions. Yes, now. Okay, a one just now is three uh, marks only. For this question, you are going to uh, get five marks. ROI form three. Still form three. Still form three. How did we want to find ROI? Did in our question paper got ROI? ROI what? ROI ROI formula. I'm afraid not, right? Yes, got. Got, got, got. No, no, no. Premium, insurance. Oh, we have only that one. Number nine is total repayment there. Uh, we have our simple interest. Okay, maturity value, none. Okay, so, now this one you must know on your own lah. Okay, you must remember. Okay, to find ROI. What is ROI just now? Return on investment. So, we are going to find what? A what? Profit. We have to find profit. Over the amount that we invest. Yes. The amount uh, cakap macam ni eh. uh, Tulis penuh lah eh. Amount invested uh. Times by Because uh, ROI in Percentage So times by 100% Before that <laughs> We must know About our Profit 
Uh, how did we get profit? How did we want to calculate for profit? Anyone? The low, uh, okay, the price you want to sell for minus the loan. Uh, that's the, this one. This one? Uh, wait. Which one? <laughs> okay, so you want to sell for 700,000, right? Yes. That's all. Any more? Uh, uh, apa -apa? Opinion? Uh, want to add up to your friend's calculation here? Yes, yeah, all about that one. Uh, the table there. That's also going to be included as our. Uh, senang lah. Profit is going to be. How much we gain and how much we are going to spend. Am I right? Yes. So spend, mana yang spend? Mana dekat di sini spend? Uh, kita cari spend dulu. Which one? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay. We are going to have first thing first, outstanding loan. This one, 144. Ah, uh, yang ni. Masih hutang lagi eh. Lagi? Ah, uh, everything here. Wow, 15, 14, 000, 8, 000, This is going to be the money that we have to spend. Any more? Yes? Four hundred and fifty-six thousand. That one is gonna be. We gain or we spend that one. We spend already. Okay, so this one also included. Because we are we are going to find for our profit, so we are uh, we are going to find what did we get and how much did we spend. Okay, any more else? Uh, and then we, uh, that's it. So we have down payment correctly ten percent out of three hundred and fifty thousand. Any more else? The rent. Uh, the rent. The rent is gonna be gain. gain. Yes. So. This one for 600 a month and also 700,000 that we are going to get, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. 350 there? Nothing. Right? That one is going to be included already. Okay. Any more else? Nothing. Okay. So, we are going to find the amount that we get first is going to be 700,000 plus with 600 a month. How many years did she got? 30 years? 20? 20 years over here, girls. So, it means that for the duration of 20 years, every month she got 600 a month. So, can we find how much did she got? 600 times by 20 times by... 12, yes. Count for me, count for me, count for me. Uh, this is going to be the profit. Okay, so we are going to find the rental first. It's going to be 600 times with 20 years times with 12 months. So this one we are going to get. 144. Oh, 144 also. Oh, okay. 144. Okay, and then. She is going to sold uh, for 700,000. So this is going to be everything that uh, we are going to gain. Okay. Gain and loss. Huh? <laughs> okay. So next, we are going to find the total of our expense. First of all, it's going to be down. Oh, sabo, sabo. Oh, nak cakap down, dia down dah. Ha. Mana dia? Okay. The down payment is going to be 10% out of 350. It's going to be? 35,000, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, down payment, 35,000. Down payment, 10%. Huh? 35,000. Plus, lagi, apa lagi? Uh, just now, loan balance, 144. Loan balance, balance lah. Balance, 144. Eh, 
installment uh, paid 456 installment paid already 456000 and then uh, can i say that this is going to be our cost cost involved straight away find the cost involved over there it's going to be 14000 plus with 4000 plus with 18000 960 18,960 I'm going to get 40,960 Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay Any more else? No Done percent Done 144 done 456 done Okay done Okay So Now To find our Profit Okay To find our Profit you are going to have over here now this is going to be expenses okay so profit is going to be how much did we gain over here uh, 144000 plus with 700000 is going to be 844 am i right yeah. 844000 minus Okay, so for the expenses, 35,000 plus 144,000 000 plus 456,000 000 plus 4960. I'm going to get over here is 675,960. Kira dah sama. Betul-betul. Betul-betul. Okay, so our profit is going to be 800. And 44,000 minus with answer is going to be 100 168040. Got? That's only for profit, not ROI yet. Ah, so we are going to sub into our formula. Okay, so we have our profit here already. 168. 040 over Okay, the amount that we invested How much? The amount that we invested 675 And that one not is How much is our house cost? Yes, okay is going to be 350,000. That's the amount that we invested for our house. Okay. Just now, uh, we calculate for the monthly just now. That one, we uh, plus with the interest. The interest already we calculate here as our expenses over here. Uh, so you are not going to get from the the amount invested is going to be six hundred thousand just now. Okay, okay. Then times by hundred percent. So ah uh, uh, forty eight huh? zero one percent. Nampak tak? Yes. Yes. Five marks given. First mark given for your gain, the second mark given for the expenses, third mark given for the profit, fourth mark given to the uh, substitution there uh, for uh, for finding the ROI, and the fifth mark is going to be at the answer. Any question? <laughs> okay, so can I proceed? Yes. Next question over here. Uh huh. B. Still the same person, Nadira. Okay. Use the services of cleaning workers to clean her house before handing over the house to the new owner. 
The table 16B below shows the relationship between the number of cleaning workers and the length of time taken to complete the cleaning process. Okay, we have over here for the number of cleaning workers to the period of time over here. Given that the period of time taken, T, uh, this is going to be our T here. Dia tak bagi tahu eh ha, Kita kena letak Various inversely ah, Variation Form Form 5 With the square of the number of workers N Where is our N? Here But this one Be careful not only N is going to be what? Square N Square so, we are going to put it in our variation over here. T time is going to be various inversely. So, we are going to get 1 over our N square first. That's what you have for your A. Ah, for after this. Ah, after this, we are going to substitute. Okay. Next, what this question said By using K as a constant Write the relationship in the form of N equation Ah, dia bagi tahu dah Dia nak apa? Equation So, we are going to have our K here Between the period of time T and the number of workers N And then ah, Dia bagi lagi Calculate the value of P here In the table there So, first thing first uh, after you have the uh, the variation over here, so I'm going to have for the equa equation first. So I'm going to get over here T equals to K over N square. So we are going to find for our K here, the constant K here is going to be T Time sweet. Ah, yeah. Ah, kalau nak, 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 nak gantikan terus pun boleh. Okay. We are going to get over here. T times with N square. So, by using the substitution over here, we are going to use the first one here. T is 12. And also, our N here is going to be 3 square. Ah, remember, do not times first. You have to find the square first, isn't it? Ah, ramai orang buat 12 times 3 and then square. Sama tak? Tak, eh? Ah. Kalau 12 times 3, 36. 36 square? Berapa? Ah, thousand something. So, you must 3 square 9 times with 12. Ingat balik bawa emas kan? Uh, apa bawa emas? What is bawa emas? Uh. Okay, this one got 1, 0. 1, 0, 8. Okay, after that. We are going, uh, you have to show into the equation first. So, you are going to put it as T equals to 108 over N square first. Uh, this is going to be your third mark, that one. For the, ah, tak tulis tu, tak dapat marko. Sebab dia ada tulis sini kan? Tu? Write the relationship. Uh, you have to write it first. After that, we are going to find the value of our our pi. So pi here is going to be at our t here. So we are going to have over here p equals to 108. Did the question give our n there? Yes. It's going to be 4 square. So by using your calculator, you are going to get the value of p. It's going to be? Yeah, 6.75 So you got over here 4 marks given This one is going to be First mark For your substitution over here uh, Actually this one I can have 1 marks 
And after that, this one for one marks. This one for one marks. This is going to be twenty-five to one. Okay. If you are showing the uh, equation, the kind of thing, uh, I can give lah. Okay. Okay. Next question. C here. To uh, still our situation here, Nadira, huh? To appreci appreciate uh, her house buyer, Nadira has allocated five thousand to give a gift for a uh, give a sixty-five inch smart TV to the buyer. Ah, uh, beli rumah dapat TV. Given that the price of smart TV is thirteen thousand and twenty-six to the Base of 7 Not the Base 10 Isn't it? Uh, base 10 is going to be our money lah Calculate the price of the smart TV In base 10 uh, there. And then it means Whether Nadira can afford it or not uh, There are going to be two uh, Three marks First mark We have to what? Ah, That one We are going to have in base 10 first So by using our table, isn't it? What table? Time table. Time table. <laughs> uh, ingat lagi tak ni? Uh, satu, tiga, kosong, dua, enam. So, eh, salah. Patutnya kat bawah kan? Eh, cikgu ni... Sorry, sorry. Satu, tiga, kosong, dua, enam. And then, <coughs> we have what? Base seven, kan? Ah, so, you are going to have seven, seven, seven. Ah, okay. So, means that we are going to have over here, one times with. Ah, this one, you are going to have one times with seven to the power of four plus with one a uh, three times with seven to the power of three plus you are gonna have uh, zero times with seven to the power of two plus then you are gonna get two times with seven to the power of one plus you are going to have over there is six times with seven to the power of zero. If you didn't do the uh, table also no problem. But this one you have to show lah. Uh, how did you Kaka, calculate that one? Okay, so you have to uh, find this one. 7 to the power of uh, 2,401, isn't it? Huh? Um, oh, you you add up terus semua eh? Oh, okay, berapa? <laughs> uh, 3,450. Uh, this is base. Base 10 Okay So the calculation over here Either you give me the Table there Or you give me the, this one I'm gonna give you one mark This one also going to be one mark Another one mark is gonna be what? Tolak Tolak? Ah yes We have to determine only this one Determine whether Nadira can afford it or no Ah yes Yes or no? You can get your marks over there. But of course lah. If you look back at our profit. Profit berapa dia dapat tadi tu? Ha. Profit is what? Just now. Berapa profit dia dapat? 16, uh, 168,000 kan? Nak bayar 3,000. Takkan tak boleh. Yes. You got another one mark. Yes saja. Can class. Okay. That's going to be our question 16. Yeah, stop for the... Eh, 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 eh. Start the question 16 first for this one. Uh, 30 minutes.